Here's that close up, check it out. We have our beautiful MSI Dragon logo illuminated with some RGB. Hey everyone, today in this video, we're gonna be checking out the MSI MPG Z690 Edge Wi-Fi DDR4 motherboard. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. You can see the retail box and packaging right here. Check it out, everything looks great. They walk us through some tech specs and features for this particular board. Everything is clear and easy to understand on the back. This is also an Intel motherboard. So with the Z690 chipset that supports Intel 12th gen CPUs, this particular board features Lightning Gen 5 that is still compatible with PCIe 4.0 devices. So nothing to worry about there. You're getting the latest and greatest today. Lightning USB 20 gigs. So that's gonna follow the latest USB 3.2 gen two by two standards, giving you up to 20 gigabits per second, 2.5 gig LAN, Wi-Fi 6, and Bluetooth 5.2. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. First up, you can see we have our product literature featuring a quick install guide and the user guide and manual. This book is super helpful to reference. It walks you through everything you need to know about your motherboard from its specs and features, as well as how to install, connect, and learn more about each individual part and component. So it goes over everything for you, very detailed and thorough. Definitely recommend reading this through a couple of times before and after installation and keep it on hand as a reference. Next, we have some stickers. You can see our case badge right there and we have some labels. We also have a bunch of different cables. So some RGB cables, some data cables. Then you can see we have some additional hardware here. So we have our M2 lockers, our Wi-Fi antenna. We have MSI branded keychain with a Phillips and flathead screwdriver tip right there. MSI branded USB drive. We also have an MSI branded cleaning tool. And lastly, we have the motherboard itself. Let's go ahead, let's look at that in more detail. Here's the board up close, check it out. Everything looks really nice. We got the MPG branding, MSI right there, our MSI Dragon, you can see Edge down here. Multiple M.2 slots, we'll have to remove some screws to get access to them. You can see too, we have our PCIe expansion slots, our BIOS battery where our CPU is gonna go. So we have our LGA 1700 socket, four DIMM slots, again, DDR4. And you can see all of our different headers and connectors all along the side of the board. USB 3.0, USB type C. So this board has you covered. We can also look at the back side of the board so you can get a feel for how everything looks there. Let's go ahead, let's look at all of our IO options right here. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight, if we count the USB type C port, eight USB ports, 2.5 gig LAN, Wi-Fi 6, where our antenna is going to go. We have DisplayPort, HDMI, our little BIOS uh, flash button right there, all of our audio. Now let's go ahead, let's take some of these covers off and look at all of our M.2 slots. Here's a look at all of our M.2 slots. You can see we have four of them available right here and they're all, yes, you heard me correctly, they're all PCIe 4.0, that is unbelievable to me. So cool that we have four PCIe 4.0 slots for M.2 drives on this board. All right, we got our PC built, all set up and ready to go with our motherboard installed. Check it out. Everything looks so good. I'm really happy with how this build turned out. Now let's go ahead, let's look at the motherboard up close. Here's that close up, check it out. We have our beautiful MSI Dragon logo illuminated with some RGB from the motherboard. Up at the top, you can see our CPU power connectors right there. Going over along the side, you can see some of our system fan and cooling connection options and headers. We have our lovely LED debugging indicator right there. Super helpful. I do want to point out we only have one stick of RAM right now because my RAM was being weird when I had all four channels in use. So that debugging light was really helpful and helped me figure out what was going on. Next, we have our main power connectors, USB Type-C, USB 3.0 there. We have our GPU installed. Look at that, gorgeous. Under that heat shield right there, we have our M.2 drive. Tons of extra room with our headers, plenty of room for cable management. You can see at the bottom here, 
system fan. We have our USB connector for our built-in display on our CPU cooler. Have our RGB lights connected and our HD audio. See that glowing too? We have some additional RGB on this board that's being covered up and blocked some by our GPU, but no big deal. Look at how nice that board looks. Now we're in the BIOS of this motherboard. Just go ahead, press the delete button on your keyboard when you're booting up or during restart to enter into the BIOS. Currently we're in easy mode, so we can quickly browse between our CPU and see some tech specs to our memory and our storage options, fan information. We have a nice built-in help section as well. We have our game boost settings, so we can turn that on or off for our CPU and RAM. Boot priority right here, some additional system information. Down at the bottom, pay attention to, we can turn on and off certain settings as well. We also have our M flash options, favorites, and we can access our hardware monitor right here. Check on the system temps as you see fit. Different fan control options, you can see all the RPMs. So a lot of settings right there, we can exit back out of that. If you want even more options, select the advanced tab. And now you can see, we're gonna go into all of our system settings. So here's our system status. We have our advanced options. So look at all the different configuration settings we have here. Let's go back in. Then we have our boot settings. Choose what you want, tweak what you desire. Then we have our security settings. And we can save and exit. Next, if you're in overclocking, we have a couple different options. We have the explore mode for expert or we can do normal. Look at all the settings you can tweak and change. Here's your XMP profile settings, you can enable that. To take advantage in our case of our 3200 megahertz speeds because currently we're just getting the default 2666. Voltages, everything you wanna change right here. Then we have our M flash settings. If you want to enable that and get that set up, you can. And pay attention on the right hand side too. A lot of different options, but we have our OC profile settings. So you can save different profiles. We have our hardware monitor again. We already looked at that, but that can get us into that as well. And then if you want to do beta runner, you can give that a try right there within the BIOS. So very easy to navigate. Two different mode options, depending on what you're after and what you're trying to accomplish. A lot of helpful information right at your fingertips. That's very easy to see and to change right within the BIOS. Now booted into our PC, I wanted to show you the MSI Center software that you can download and use if you want to see some of the BIOS settings and some of the hardware monitoring right from your PC. So first up, we opened up MSI Center. Now we have three different tabs here. The first tab we're in is our hardware monitoring. So you can see our CPU information right here, GPU usage, then we have some additional settings. You can see all of that right there with our temperatures. Everything's monitoring for us, no big deal. Then we can select the features tab. So in this case, since we have our core liquid cooler, we can access all of the core liquid settings right here within MSI Center. So if you want additional MSI accessories, they'll play nicely together. Then we have our support tab. This gives us a lot of different options, but let's select live update. This is where we can update our motherboard and get the latest and greatest for our drivers, everything like that. And then we have Microsoft app update options too for Realtek audio control. But under live update, that's where we can scan and find everything we want. We can also select advanced. So let's go ahead, let's do that. This is gonna bring up even more update options for us as it completes its scan. So, and you can see right here in red, MSI does not recommend update BIOS when system has no issues, but this is gonna give us advanced update options like our BIOS. So in this case, we could update the BIOS and we could update 
some LED firmware as well under the advanced setting, but you can do all that within the MSI Center. Within MSI Center, you can also select this four tile option right here to view feature sets. And in this case, we downloaded Mystic Light, which is MSI's own RGB and LED software to manage your lights. So multiple profiles, we can view all of our devices right here. We have our motherboard, our GPU and our RAM all have RGB that we can control. Depending on which option you choose, like for the motherboard, we can select certain headers or we can have everything selected and then we can choose our style. There's so many different style options right here. Light speed, brightness, you can change the color depending on the setting, enter an RGB value or select a favorite color all from within Mystic Light you can manage and sync up all of your RGB devices. Now let me share with you my final thoughts in regards to this MSI motherboard. Installation was simple, straightforward, everything works great. BIOS is easy to configure and set up as you see fit, especially if you're into overclocking. The feature set on this board is fantastic. The value is there for all the USB ports that we get, 2.5 gig LAN, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all of that good stuff. My favorite feature though, besides how good this board looks and our built-in RGB, is the fact that we have four M.2 slots that are blazing fast. If you want to have a ton of solid state storage with incredible speeds, this is gonna be a great, great, great motherboard for you. If you don't need all of those slots right now, in the future, maybe you wanna upgrade your whole PC again, you can convert this end of life into a fantastic home server. So in my opinion, you really can't go wrong with this board.